Merry Christmas everybody, it's me Symphony and I'm coming back to you guys with another hair review um, and style tutorial. Um, I started doing my hair last night and I was like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? I need to be filming this so I can show everybody. The hair that I have in my head is the, hold on, I gotta grab the package because I don't want to forget anything. It is the Twin Peaks Deja Vu Perm Kinky Yaki. And this is 100% human hair quality and tangle free. This is what the package looks like. Dee, 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 dee. Yes. Um, it comes with four bundles of hair or four pieces of hair. Two 18s and two 16s. And a closure. This hair is curling iron safe. You can curl it or put heat to it up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Which is good because I did add heat to this hair. I have been wearing this hair for maybe about three weeks I want to say um three maybe four weeks give or take uh i'm not really sure i just know it has it hasn't um fully been a, a whole month yet um the hair when i when i installed it i put it on a mesh u-part wig cap because um i didn't know how this hair would would hold up and i wanted to maintain the style as long as i could possibly maintain it and i didn't want to glue it or sew it into my hair because if i didn't like it i wanted to be able to remove it very quickly and toss it but luckily that did not happen um i have been wearing this hair for some weeks now and i love this hair there are some pros and cons to this hair the reason why i decided to put this hair on a well i sold it to a mesh wig cap because i wanted to prevent shedding and i thought that by the hair being cheap and the webs being so thin if i was to cut the webs then the hair would shed however that did not prevent the hair from shedding i noticed immediately after um i got done with the first piece of hair with the first bundle of hair that there was a massive amount of hair on my floor and it it took me days to get that hair off my carpet oh my gosh not the not the best thing or uh, whatever so i was not happy with that but once i saw the hair i was pleased with the texture now when it's when they say tangle free they really mean tangle free and i was actually surprised for this hair to be synthetic and to be so cheap that the hair would actually be tangle free because i know a lot of times companies they put tangle free on the package of the hair but is not tangle free even some human hairs they say oh it's tangle free and that's not true one pack is enough um i actually doubled all of my webs i did not um single stitch any of this hair everything is doubled from the from the beginning to the end it's doubled double webs and one pack was enough i did not use the closure as you can see it is still in the back because i don't like chrome closures had it been like a, a um uh what's the word i'm looking for an invisible part closure or a um a lace closure or something like that then i would have used it to prevent um putting heat on my hair however it was a crown circle closure i don't like to use those anymore because i feel like it's it's pointless so i just left some of my hair out which was not that bad my hair blends kind of nicely with the hair this is all of my hair i didn't leave that much out but um you'll be amazed what a flat iron and some edge control can do for <laughs> for uh your natural hair but um yeah let's get into the actual tutorial of the video um the reason why i decided to put some curls in it and i actually got this um this idea from oh my god i don't want to mispronounce her name alicia alicia forever oh my gosh i don't want to screw up your name but i will like leave all of her information in the video link her video link and everything in the description box below um yes she inspired this style here um my last curl video when i showed you guys how i recurl my synthetic wigs and how i bring them back to life i used the same flexi rods however I um they were more they were tighter and when I saw her video I was like oh cool this is a cool way to elongate your curls without having to wait for them to fall and things like that I can still keep the length of the hair so if you guys are interested in seeing how I achieve these beautiful bouncy curls curls for the girls curls for the girls. if you guys are interested in seeing how I 
got these wonderful curls then stay tuned and the tutorial is coming up next i hope you guys are having a very merry christmas and i will see you all in the next video i love you guys and just in case i don't create a new video before the new year merry christmas and happy new year thank you guys so much for rocking with me this year and i look forward to bringing you more tutorials and more videos in the upcoming year